And welcome back. We are joined now by Ben Wickler, the d chair of the state Democratic Party. We appreciate you being here. Thanks today. so much for having me on. Yeah, this is a big Republican event, but of course, you know, you're here to, to talk about how big this is to, that it's starting in the state of Wisconsin. This is kind of kicking off the 2024 campaign season. Why is it important that it's here? Well, this debate mm -hmm. and the fact that the Republican National Convention will be in this building next year mm -hmm. is all part of a Republican strategy that is built on winning Wisconsin. We were the tipping point state in 2016 for Trump. Mm -hmm. We were the tipping point state for Joe Biden in 2020. It means that every Wisconsin voter has more power to shape the future of democracy than people anywhere else in the country. Mm -hmm. And it's why the GOP and us Democrats are gonna do everything we can to persuade and turn out Wisconsin voters in the 2024 cycle. You mentioned 2016, it went red, 2020 went blue. Both were very close races. Since you've taken over, you've had success turning Wisconsin blue. Are you worried with the debate here and then the convention next year that there's gonna be a little more Republican momentum? So one of the strange things about politics in this day and age is that the more people hear from the Republican candidates, the less they support them. So I, I think there's a real risk to the GOP that this backfires. People are gonna see Republicans on stage urging the banning of books and privatizing Social Security and Medicare and supporting total abortion bans that voters have rejected over and over and over. That doesn't help the Republicans' cause. And I wanna make sure voters do know what the Republicans stand for, as well as what Democrats are for, growing the economy from the middle out and the bottom up and making sure everyone has a family supporting jobs and the freedom that really should be the birthright of every American. You talked about what some of those candidates are gonna talk about tonight. Do you expect in the debate tonight they're gonna to spend more time attacking President Biden and Democratic policies, or do you think they're gonna be attacking each other tonight? What's so striking when you look at these Republicans, they're kind of not making the case about Biden or the general election, so much of what they're focused on is these kind of mega extremist fantasies about what the public wants that are really confined to just a, a small corner of the right wing internet and Fox News and talk radio. When they're talking about these book bans, when they're talking about their attacks on reproductive freedom and, and you know, issue after issue after issue, it's like they're leapfrogging each other to more and more extreme wing of the, of the MAGA fever swamps. It reminds me, frankly, of what we saw in our governor's primary last year in Wisconsin, and the result of that was a candidate who is too extreme for Wisconsinites. That's what I think we're seeing play out in the presidential primary at the same time uh, here in Wisconsin and nationwide. We'll know tomorrow night. We only have 30 seconds left, but I wanted to quickly ask, what's the plan now for the Democrats here in Wisconsin with two big Republican events going on here? Well, the, the first thing is to go back in time and make sure we never stop organizing and communicating. And that's what we've done. This past weekend, we were knocking on doors all over the state of Wisconsin, and we will not stop until the polls close in 2024. And then we'll keep working until the Supreme Court race in 2025. The other thing is making sure that that lies about President Biden, his work to build the economy and, and support jobs for people in every part of our state, that those lies don't go uncountered. We want to make sure people know about the bipartisan infrastructure bill, the Chips and Science Act, about the Inflation Reduction Act and bringing down costs. So we're going to communicate, we're going to organize, we'll persuade and we'll turn out and we will we'll never quit until we make sure that democracy survives in our state. Ben, I know you're busy today. Thank you so much for being with, on with us today. Now, earlier today, we also interviewed the Republican Party chair, Brian Schimming. I caught up with him earlier on to see what he hopes to come out of tomorrow night's debate. Tomorrow night's an important night. It really is. This debate, we'll have eight on stage. This debate will be more than just a debate. It'll help be kind of a scene setter for at least the next couple months on this race. The debate begins tomorrow. It's sponsored by Fox News. We'll have full coverage tomorrow on all of our early evening newscasts. And we hope you join us at 10 for our post-debate analysis.